you did a Zumba class and you Oh yeah. and you loved it. Well, you said you loved it. I mean, you said you loved it. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah, it it was it was very fun. I enjoyed it. I think And the people were I loved the people more than anything. Here's what I think. I think Uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> I think Oh god. <laughs> that if Mitch wasn't there and if you weren't making a video out of it because you love making content and you, and you're like uh you what did Gary call you? You're like a stand-up comic. You like say something and then like you can do crowd work. Like someone throws something out and then you like to react to it and see the reaction to that. You're like you have that DNA. I think that if you were just, if someone told you like, Jordan, three days a week, you know, noon to one o'clock, you're going to go, because you love Zumba, you're going to go do that <laughs> for, the, for the next 10 years of your life. I don't think you would love Zumba. I think you loved that day and like I, the picture was cool and like, I bet it was a really fun class and I'm going to watch the video. I don't know if it's out yet, but I'm going to watch it for sure. No, it's not out yet. Um, I think it was the experience around making something more so than you love Zumba. Dude, I so I think you're 100% right that the experience, this this special uniqueness of the experience and the people were so welcoming and it was that one day and then I'm making content around it, like made it more fun and exciting uh, without question, for sure. There was also the aspect, one of the reasons that I, was, I kept saying like I loved it, aside from how amazing the people were and how incredible the teacher was and all of that, one of the main reasons that I, I kept saying I loved it is I had the actual data from my heart rate throughout that whole thing to track. And it was a, a tremendously effective cardio workout. Like there's no question about it. And when I said where, where that was I your, love where it, was your, where was your heart rate? The vast majority was between zone two, zone three. And then there was about 13 minutes in zone four, okay. which I was actually like really surprised by. But granted, I was going hard dancing. Like I was dancing like the teacher came over to me after she was like, I didn't expect you. Like to, she, she goes, you didn't give a fuck. Like you were just <laughs> going like, dude, I was going hard. Um, it's cause you know, me, a huge part of my personality is looking at how other people are responding, right? Like it's, it's often focused on how other people feel and, and, and looking at how they're, how they're interpreting something and how they're enjoying something or not enjoying something. And especially with what we do, I loved seeing how much they loved it, if that makes sense. Part of the reason I loved it so much is because I could see how much fun everyone was having. And especially going back to what we've been talking about at the beginning of this episode, movement, exercise, all this stuff. I know there are many people out there, I know this because they messaged me saying that doesn't count as real exercise. It's, it's, well, that's not right. It's not. And I, I knew that if I went over the top saying how great it was, then number one, everyone who already did it would feel justified in doing it and maybe want to do it more. And people who weren't doing anything, but might have been interested in trying something like Zumba would have been more likely to try it, which in turn made me love it even more at the thought of the perspective idea of more people doing it just for the exercise. So that's why I, one of the reasons why I loved it so much. Yes, the teacher was incredible. And yes, the community was great. And they were high fiving and teaching me the choreography and all that. But I wouldn't do that three times a week, for, like personally. It, like I didn't love it from that perspective. But so yeah, you're 100% right. Fair enough, fair enough. That makes sense. <laughs>